Hi friends, today I am going to show you an universal motor which I have taken from Mixi that we are using in kitchen. So this is our universal motor. This is how it looks. You can see this inside Mixis. So first of all I will start with the connecting wire. So here this is phase neutral and earth. There are three points points face neutral and F. this is starting of the wire and over here this is the ending part you can see here there are three color three colored wires the red one over here the red one red one is the face this wire which is the combination of yellow and green color we can see a small green color and yellow color this one is the earth wire and the black over here is the neutral wire so that it consists of face earth and neutral so these three wires are coming out of it and the face wire will go to overload protector there is an overload protector in mixing and this green wire and yellow wire is for speed control. We will vary the knob. The mixer consists of knob. And over here, those wires will get connected. Those are for speed control. Now, this is a universal motor. And forget about this wiring and all. Now, I will explain about this universal motor. Universal motor consists of stator. This is our stator part. This grey color or blackish color is the stator. And stator consists of stator windings or the field windings. And this stator will act as an electromagnet when current flows through the field winding. The output or the phase wire will get connected to the windings. And when current passes through these windings, the stator will act as electromagnet. And inside this, we can see over here, over here, see, over here we can see some windings. These windings, as we rotate, those windings also getting rotated. So that is the rotating part of the rotor. This is the water part and this is the stator part. So water consists of water windings. So when the stator acts as an electromagnet, there will be magnetic fields. And a conductor is placed inside the magnetic field, it will rotate. And this one over here is the commutator. This is a commutator arrangement. And, and beside that we can see brushes. So these Two are the brushes and this one over here is the commutator and a fan is given at the end it is for cooling purpose and also for maintaining the load we can we keep a load here we need to maintain the posture so the fan is given and this is our internal part this is the face wire face wire I am going to this is the face wire. I am going to connect these face wires together. Without going to overload protector, I am going to connect these face wires directly. We can turn on the supply. The wiring is not so perfect. We can connect the faces. The face is connected to overload protector, and the output is taken from that. So now we can just turn on and see what will happen.
score so this is how it works